Good morning, beautiful family. Nathaniel Rapture Watchers here for Jesus. Another day closer, always, brothers and sisters. And for anybody else that's watching, if you were lost out there, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus Christ died for all of our sin, past, present, future. He rose again from the dead in three days. And his perfect sinless blood paid for all of us, all of our sins, past, present, and future. And once you believe in that, you will be changed. You will have the Holy Spirit indwelling in you, teaching you, guiding you, growing you, and you will just you will be changed in an instant. Some people don't feel anything, but for me, when I was literally in where I was, I had messed up in life. I was in a prison cell, and I had read the whole four gospel mark james luke uh pretty much the whole new testament which, which is the end of the bible and it's a very good place to start and then go backwards but i read that and i didn't i didn't ask for the holy spirit it just came inside of me i was it was inside of me and it boy you guys i can tell you it changed me. It changed me. And I've not been the same person since. And I pray for anyone that watches this, if you need someone to talk to, you're lost. Nathaniel's always here. And my wife. And we would be happy to talk to you, pray with you, pray for you. And just to let you know that. But it changed me when I was in jail in that cell. There was a light that was inside of me. And he has been with me ever since, and you cannot lose your salvation. Once the Holy Spirit dwells in you, it will be until redemption. All right, brothers and sisters, um, I just felt led to get on here with you today. I get on every day at least once, but I'm going to read a Bible scripture here. This is out of Psalms 1-6. For the Lord knoweth the way of righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And God is watchful over us, giving his attention and care to the path he sets for us, and his guidance informs our steps. This is one of the many blessings of knowing and being known by God, for to know for to not know him is to take a path that leads away from him, that we build for ourselves, which can only lead to ruin. You guys, you know, when Jesus comes and knocks at your heart, he wants you to open the door, okay? It's just like I said this yesterday. Um, you know, when someone comes to knock at the door of your house, what's going to happen if you don't go to open it? They're just going to walk away. They're not going to... I mean, you literally have to go and open the door. Open the door to him. And once you do that, you accept Him in. Accept Him into your life. Everything changes for the better. In the rapture of the church, brothers and sisters are so close. So close. I've only been here 39 years, but man, it has been, it has been uh, out of these. It's been great, but the, I've seen the world change drastically. And now that I have eyes to see, ears to hear what's going on, I said my testimony on here, and thank God, that you, thank you, Father, for giving me the will to say it. Um, Jesus is so great, and He just He's wanting you. He's wanting you to be with Him. He's waiting for you. Bless it that we have another day, you know, because there's another person that's going to get saved. And that's what this time is for. It is for you. It is for the lost to get saved. Oh, whiskers. Calm down, buddy. I'm sorry about that, guys. He is not a happy cat. I'm going to have to go let him in real quick. And take you guys with me. <laughs> um, literally... Will not let it get me sidetracked. He is waiting for you to be saved. 
How you doing, buddy? You don't have to be so mean. Do you? You don't have to be mean, Whiskers. He's very, very defensive. Little stinker. As I was saying, these last days, and brothers and sisters, we are in the last days. And we are so close. I literally, out of every year that I've uh, that we've been here, it has been a little bit harder. But trust me, trusting and resting in Jesus Christ is the best thing. The best thing. There's a there's a lie out there, you know, that you cannot that you have to be perfect to meet Jesus to come to Him. No, He He came for all the sinners, for all of us. I was man, a sinner from just like everybody else, you know, and that's that's the ones He goes for. That's the ones He goes for. I love you, brothers and sisters, so much, and I know it's hard out there. My sister who commented and just going through things and I'm praying for you sister if you watch this I, and I don't stop praying for you there's a lot of people that's going through divorce and financial things and I'm going through it too and I've had brothers and sisters help me and I reached out and asked for help and there's nothing wrong with that now I just had my phone call um, where actually my SSI they're, they are going to they are going to help me. They literally just called me five minutes ago, and praise God, you know. I actually had a dream where um, I was praying for a job opportunity and the other option, and then I was praying for my SSI, and I woke up. And I know that seems confusing, but that's the dream I had, and I know what the Father was telling me. He said he was asking me, telling me to pray for those things and not give up hope. And that's what I'm doing, you know. I'm praying for those two options right there. And the work option's a little, you know, a little different because it... But <clears throat> if there was an opportunity, I'd jump all over it. And I've had a... I was blessed and had a guy that's literally across over here this way that works in this building, and he offered me to help them clean out some things and man that felt so good you know they take any opportunity that you can get when it comes to a work or a job or anything and God knows that I will and I'll keep praying for that but remember too always when you pray you believe that you receive or that you're going to receive it just like the Bible says okay and keep asking keep knocking all those things in that right whiskers. You get him in there. <laughs> he loves sitting on my lap. Boy, is it, I was just noticing. I don't know understand how cats shed so much in the in the winter. But I think it's um I remember them shedding in the summer, but not <laughs> not in the winter like this. It's gonna be okay, ain't it, buddy? I don't know where he runs off to, but he even in the cold like this, he'll go running all over the place. We've got so much to look forward to, brothers and sisters. Just to get back to that, back to Jesus. He loves you so much. He's not condemning you. We are so close to going home. So close. So close to going home every single day. And it's been a battle. We are armor up armor up every single day put that armor on and stand for him and he's once you keep resting in him and trusting in him it's all going to be all right every single day day at a time one day at a time and forget about what you did wrong in yesterday that has been the hardest thing for me and uh i was watching brother aaron and christy I love their videos. I love them. I love those brothers and sisters just like everybody. But they're so encouraging, man. And to take communion with them. I took communion with them and with uh, Brother Randy yesterday. Me and my wife did. And 
was feeling just really down, man, you know, feeling depressed a little, and you get cooped up inside for a little while, you can't go nowhere, you know, and the enemy tries to weigh on you, and he's, and he tries to come in with doubt and fear and anxiety, but the best thing is you you got Jesus all around you, you know, and he's there inside of you, but I just, you know, I watch that, and these brothers and sisters, they know how encouraging they are, and and I hope you guys, I pray you guys get that from these videos, because I try to be as real, as transparent as always, and just let the Holy Spirit take over, and He's always welcome here, and I love you guys so much, every day that we, we are alive is a blessed day, that we so we keep sowing these seeds, man, sowing them, and He's going to harvest our seeds, you know it, I, I know we got a lot coming on. And like March and May, and man, that that um, eclipse is so significant. I watched a video, uh, Midnight Oil, I think is her name, uh, Sister Melissa. I subscribed to her, and she she had a good point. Uh, the TAV across America, and I forgot. I already forgot what that means, but it's, I've never been good at that stuff. But. Um, I mean, what day is that again? Uh, March, or is it April? I think April 8th. That eclipse, there's going to be an X across America. An X across America, guys. It's like God has been given, you know, America time to repent and come back. And I don't, <laughs> you guys, as far as a revival, we're going home. We're going home. That's what I'm looking forward to. And... It's the truth, and I don't know what's going to happen, you know, as far as uh, when that comes. It's like any moment, the rapture, the rapture of the church, me and you are going, and guess what? You are going. You are going. You have the Holy Spirit indwelling inside of you. Don't let the enemy tell you that you're not going to go, that you are not loved. You are covered with his blood. You are seated in heavenly places right now. We are all going home. I know that for a fact. I, I told my wife, because there were some times she said, because she had a dream, like I said, and she, her dream, she didn't go, and she was left here. And then, like literally, the next day I kept hearing in my spirit, I'm coming to get both of you. I'm coming to get both of you, just in time, just in time. And it was strong, brothers and sisters, strong. So don't let ever the enemy tell you, you know, he try to put that fear in you and everything. Remember what the enemy planned for you, the devil uses for good too. So, but we have authority and power over the enemy and he cannot even stand. We smash him with the boot of our heel because of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you did for us. I'm probably over the time limit on here for today, but, you know, I don't care. I just wanted to talk with you guys. It's already being a good morning. I love you, brothers and sisters, so much. Um, thank you guys for, you know, your nice comments always. And I love praying for each other. We have each other. we got Jesus mainly, and we have each other. We're one big family, man. It is so nice to have everybody the way that we do. So nice.